Welcome back to Tinker BT. This is Aquarius's reading for the month of February. So all February babies who are here, Aquarius babies, I should say, happy, happy, happy birthday to you all. I hope that you have the best one ever and that it keeps getting better from thereafter. Every birthday will be better every year as you get older, but age is just a number. Just remember that, okay? It's just a number. Well, I pulled off camera week by week. Now, I also pulled you a dragon card. Dragon Supernatural, you are the ancient wise sage. You can shapeshift at will. Mastery is your destiny and rise with dignity. Now, I'd like to tell you that the setup here is in progress. I don't know yet how I'm going to have things. I need to find a better thing to clip the camera to so that I can get a more pulled out look because I'm too close. And so I have to get something from a higher vantage point, if you will. And I'm working on it. Maybe somebody can send me a telepathic message or a comment, whatever it is. Um, maybe you can help me think of an idea that I can clip something to because right now, this is the highest place I can put it at. So I have about maybe a couple feet to work with. Maybe. I don't know. But I don't want it to be in a wonky area. Let me get back to the reading. Okay. Your first week Aquarius is going to be Ten of Cups. You're going to experience great happiness, great pleasure. You might be in a situation where you have a happily ever after. You have a loved one and a family and a home. And... Because the Ten of Cups is everything emotionally satisfying, right? So maybe during the first week, everything is going to feel perfect to you. Your birthday, the ones in your life are going to make things feel more perfect than you had imagined. You even anticipated they could, okay? But Ten of Cups could be where you have landed. Maybe that is something you've done for yourself. So, and I'm sorry, I have a speech impediment. It's really bad. I'm going to wind up having to probably do something about it, but... This is the way it is. I know that you can hear me. You, you might have to listen to me again. I apologize. There may be something very important in here for you. So sometimes the messenger is sometimes stalled, stopped, hard to hear. The rewards come in trying to find out where those messages are. So yes, it's not just myself. If you have a speech um, impediment with somebody else or there's a language barrier or there's noise going on in the background, anything that could get in the way of finding out something you need. Sometimes it's very important. It's kind of like getting um, a document or something and that it's caked in mud or the ink got wet. And because it did, it got, you know, it flew all over the place. So you had to try harder to get the message in that letter, right? So, yeah, you're dealing with an issue with me, and I apologize, but I think that that is Spirit's way of saying you need to ferret out the information as well. There may be change going for you this month, too. Great change. Um, as well, you might be moving into a 2.0 version of self because I got 20, which would be a 2.0, right? Um, between the, the cards and also the devil energy, which he is lurking. So it would be an obsessed person, maybe. I'm feeling that could be related to the astral travel. Yes, that very well for some of you is an individual who's trying to keep tabs on you in the astrals. Um, you need a cord cut. You need to do something to identify this person and let it be known by your spirit team that they are not allowed I happen to have a person or two that aren't, and they work very hard, the spirit team, to keep me away from said ones. So Aquarius, just take empowerment into your own hands with it, with your spiritual and your boundaries in 3D life, because any kind of connection you have with another can connect to your happiness, your satisfaction in the life of 3D as well as spiritual realm. So you don't want to have anyone connecting that does not belong in your energy. Sage, wisdom from experience, having good judgment, and being a mentor. That is you in the first week. And recharging. Your energy is depleted. 
get a lot of rest now and be ready for the next phase. That is you too. Now your birthday may have you really exhausted. Maybe you are enjoying a little bit of spirits or just the idea of your birthday. It was overwhelming to get to that point. And now you're just like, wow, now I need a rest. And that is your body saying it is time to recharge, but you may be getting spiritual downloads. And if you are getting any ascension symptoms right now, your body really needs more rest time to recharge and also clear the building, if you will, your body being the building, okay, to receive more because there's new ones coming. You may have gifts coming that are spiritual gifts. And now that you have your earthly birthday, you know, the elders, if you will, are waiting for you to be ready. And if you're not ready, they cannot give. You can only receive what it is they give and you have to work in tandem with them. So release what needs released. Rest when you need resting. Do not, do not let your boundaries be siphoned, disturbed. Keep them locked down, okay? That was my, that's my kitty cat making a noise in the background. I apologize. He is being a little ruckus, but he'll, he'll quit. Circles. Okay, this makes me think of the song by Post Malone. Go look that up. Listen to it on YouTube. Um, number 34. So your third and your fourth house are definitely involved here. Clarity begins in the eye of the storm. So your first week, you may have some chaos happen. Okay, yeah, you have Cancer, two Geminis, Mars, and you have Sixth House, which is Virgo. So your routine, your sleep, the care you put into your loved ones, maybe your pets, as well, those in your charge. So they may not be like, say, your children, but they will be people that you care for in a way that is service to others. You may have a Virgo, a Cancer. This could be your mother, this could be your neighbor, this could be your brother or sister, okay? But somebody you may be, put, be putting care into in the first week after your birthday, I would say. Maybe you're feeling that your rest is needed because you're going to have to do that right after and you're aware of this. But we're going to go on with, okay, now circles, that was Post Malone. We're going to go on with the second week. This is a little different video than the last one, and I apologize. I'm getting my bearings. We'll figure out what space I have to work with and what modality we will use in this space. But I'm going to get your second week now. Aquarius, Tinker BT, you're listening to you now. Five of Coins. There'll be some kind of situation, place, relationship that you will feel locked out of, unwanted from not included. I'm feeling that reindeer games kind of business in Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, right? Where he wasn't allowed to play the games the rest of him could. So maybe you aren't ready. You have not graduated in some way in a group setting. Maybe there is a certificate you need that you've not received. Maybe there is a um, standard. It's a click that you need to, you know, do something to acquire a fair membership in the clique. So everybody does something, right? I'm thinking college students, maybe um, how you do things to, you know, team up with those people who've already gone through initiations and things as such. But initiation could be something spiritual. Your gifts could be waiting to come in and maybe you're not getting them. Maybe you're locked out from them right now. Let's find out more. This is about change as well. This is earthly change. It could be financial, financial change. Yes, cleansing. Dispel negative energy and immerse yourself. Clear your personal space. This is turning out to be pretty spiritual, if you ask me. Um, the, whatever it is, it's locking you out. I think it does relate to you needing to cleanse, you needing to do salt baths and pray and bring your power back to self. Do not let anyone in your dream space. It does not belong there. The astral traveler. Um, I may at the tail of this reading read on that, um, but this individual may try despite the month, but I, I might not let them ruin this reading. So just pay attention to the further Aquarius readings. I will put it in one of them. I might not say because I don't want to tip off cross watchers if they are astral traveling, trying to cause trouble. Okay. Assignment. 
Your unique earth mission. Watch for reoccurring themes. You have all you need. Okay, so maybe you're not taking the torch. Maybe it's being sent towards you and you're ignoring it. So spiritually, you need to pay attention to every offer given. Pay attention to the ones that maybe your ears will ring. Maybe you'll have a light splash, you know, a flashy or a code word that, you know, spirit sends you something. Maybe you're sensing warmth within. And your Akashic records connect with the collective draw upon universal wisdom and access your cellular memory. Okay. This is week two. Now for that to be occurring, I feel that you've been holding back some of your gifts. And in the second week, I think you're getting closer to that book popping open and just exploding on you. There'll be lots of little sprinklies coming at you. When I say that, I mean lights. And that is going to be downloads, whether you see them or not. If you're not ready to see the lights, that's fine. They're still going to occur. Because whether you like it or not, these are things that happen spiritually. It's your third eye that recognizes things. So if your third eye is not wide open, you may not recognize this, but it will occur. You will have physical symptoms. You may feel like you have a flu. And yes, that on the world stage became pretty prominent when most of us were having that happen. Some of us, like myself, had previously had that happen. It depends on who you are and your life experiences and how you learn from your karmic debts, things of that nature. Week two, we're going to get you another card for week two for Aquarius, please, February. Sharing, number 33, there is giving and receiving and receiving and giving. So as you know, it's like the cycle. You know, the wheel goes round and round. So like halfway through the cycle, you're re receiving or you're giving. And also remember this, if you don't already know this, your left hand is your receiving hand. Your right is your giving. So if you're doing service, which we saw six on the dice, right? You're doing service to others. Remember that if it's intended to give them the energy from you, your right hand is the way to operate. So if you have a choice in the hands to use, the right hand to receive, it would be left. So if somebody's giving you a gift, if somebody plans to give you a gift and you're open to it, your left hand, but guard your right hand where needed because that is the energy in which you're giving and you may need to disperse it to many others. Aquarius, you are a healer. If I have anybody listening to me now, I might have other readers listening to me and you're a healer. So you need to guard what it is that is your energy and share with it where you can, but make sure you're always protected. Now, in week three for Aquarius, you have Hierophant. That is Taurus energy, but it could also be in shadow side. It could be Scorpio energy. It's five. Now, we already know change is going on for you. Hi, spiritual. Messages have been coming through for you. I am dealing with a deck that is on the spiritual side. I will flavor the rest of this reading with some down-to-earth reading um, energy. I have to locate that, but I will. Um... I wanted to give you an idea because this is a renewal for you. I, I thought that this would be a nice way to do it because of the spiritual upgrades that we go through and our birthday may be a very key point unknowingly, you know, because it's like a renewal. Think of um, yourself like as if you're a computer and you're getting that yearly update, that real big one, right? Not the ones that tend to keep on coming through, but the real big one. Now, Taurus... It could be high counsel, okay? Um, it could be you have a higher uh, commitment, marriage, or you could have some kind of spiritual grouping that you are a part of. Now, if you were waiting for that block that you were feeling before with the five of coins, this is a good omen that it is now lifted. You've done something correctly or you were finally recognized, right? Simply for being a cherished member in this group, this spiritual group. Now it could be in the flesh world and it could be in the 3D or 5D, excuse me. Um, but whatever the case may be, you now are receiving whatever it is that you're meant to. And I believe it's from creator. You have creator next. You could be a content creator, but this feels like it's a spiritual because this is the high spiritual order here. So creator has sent you downloads and it says creator practice manifesting channel, creative energy, work on big goals. 
Okay, so this has to do with your creative energy. You might want to get in touch with your sacral and your solar plexus because those are your two creative sectors in your navel and in your tummy area, um, the chakras. So think yellow and orange, okay? Aquarius, you have clarion call. Respond to an urgent need. Being called into action and listening to spirit. So I feel that there will be a higher order, a possibly angel or your protective angel maybe has sent you personally a message in a download that means that you are answering a calling. This could be an archangel. I haven't had a message of that. I don't know if Clarion is an archangel. Well, I guess you may know. I don't have the ability right now to look that up, but Clarion could just mean something about the spiritual call. Let's find out what we can find out where this leads to for week three, a walk-in. Okay. So an angel would like to come through you, speak through you. Now, if you challenge, you challenge, there, this may be a challenge. This may be new to you. If you are a channeler and you let and allow others come through you, beware of who does. Okay. Don't allow yourself to be a gateway, portal, host, what have you, be uh, possessed, right? Be aware of yourself, okay? Learn the boundaries, learn who you are, and when you're speaking, if it is channeling, you'll know it's not you. But make arrangements to channel for an angel that would like to speak through you. There is one who is coming that would like to speak through you. Now, you can deny doing this, of course, but your spiritual... Um, your spiritual mission may require this. Only you will know this. I don't know. And I'm not telling you which way to go. This is your decision. Aquarius, finding your soul purpose, creating a new identity and awaken to your mission. So being open to engage with, you may not need to speak to others, but maybe being open to receive these extra downloads via one of the teams that would be considered an angelic force, if you will. One final card for the week three, Aquarius February, transmutation, transforming heavy energy, change on a soul level and being enlightened. Okay, yes, those of you that did take that, that torch, you will be, you will be going through a transmutation and this is going to bring you into your enlightenment. You're going to understand yourself and your gifts. Your third, third eye will crack wide open if it has not already, it is about to. This is going to change a lot for you. You might see things differently. You may not realize that you won't need to see things with your two eyes. Your eyes could be closed and you still are aware of things. Your ability to pick up on just nuances that before you ignored, you're going to feel a loud reception of understanding. Your your perception is going to be, you know, like completely awake. So there there is the enlightenment period. And when I say awake, you won't feel like you're just going through the motions. You're going to be really at this spiritual quest that you had hoped to get on. It is time. You are gifted this. This is going to happen the third week. Most definitely my Aquarius is listening. will have found themselves in a place where they are getting these downloads. They are receiving. They're working with spirit. They're listening and they're not ignoring anything because now it is obvious to them. Aquarius for the third week, 39, perspective. We have a lighthouse and we have a sitter at a, let me see if I can get this on camera for you. Somebody sitting by a tree, that is you, with those binoculars, which you won't need, and the lighthouse, okay? The lighthouse is the spiritual beacon that you look to, that brings you. You don't need binoculars. You've got it. Okay, houses three and nine might mean something to you. That would be communication, neighbors and siblings, maybe if you have them. It could be somebody, sibling that you know. Um, that could be a Gemini as well. If not in the shadow side, it could be, what is that, Sagittarius, right? Could be one of them. Okay, also the ninth house is Sagittarius' house. So I do think it is the axis of Gemini, Sagittarius, okay? Jupiter and Mercury could be playing a role. A lot of communication, a lot you need to look forward to that you're going to have to uncork. 
that will be sent to you via spiritual means, okay? Third week. So we're not seeing any capital gains. I'm going to get a couple to finish off the month. I'm going to get a couple normal cards for you. And these are oracles we're working with now. But we have Post Malone. So far, I think it's setting circles. So you're going through cycles, okay? You may have been through this already. I don't know. Maybe you're having recall of past life. Your fourth week is going to be fiery. It's King of Wands. It's authoritative. It's the minor version of the emperor. Okay. So you're going to be in your business realm, but you're fiery and you're full of passion, desire. You're fast. The fourth week will be fast and authoritative. So whether it is you're feeling a authority within self, within your business, within your home, because we did start out with family, home, love, you know, but the downloads are coming in. You're becoming more sharp, more wise, right? And so maybe what is going on is more 3D than 5. We'll see. Okay, we're going to pull some cards here from the more spiritual side first. We'll see what it tells us for the fourth week. Ascension process. Okay, so you're going to go rapid fire through your ascension process. So from week, I'm getting ringing. Okay, yes, it's true. Week three to week four, you will experience ascension process just really going like rapid fire. Now, ninth house is the enlightenment house. So the messages you get in the 3D, you need to carry into the five. When I say five, I mean, you will sit in the meditative state or you'll feel yourself in a quiet minded area where you can receive transmission from whichever sector comes to you because you're in that axis. So coming in information is going to come from any route. So pay attention to three and five and watch in your chart. If you can read your chart, your astrological natal chart, your, okay, everybody is different. If you weren't born as a, say, Aries rising. Okay. I think that would be the way it would go. Your, your chart may be laid out differently. So your third house may not be Gemini. So whatever is ruling your third house and your ninth house will be paramount, but so will you, Germ uh, I almost said Germany, Gemini. Okay, Germany may play a role. I don't know. Maybe you're part German. Maybe you're learning German. Maybe you know German. Um, there's Germany heritage. Maybe you have a Germanic background somehow with the angels. I don't know. But yeah, um, I'm seeing snow and Germany can be really, really snowy, or at least it used to be the Bavarian area. I'm not sure. But anyway, let me know in the common area if that applies to you. Um, yeah, so that axis between Sagittarius and Gemini will be paramount as well as what rules those houses for you in your chart. Ascension process, expanding consciousness, merging with divine will and reaching a new level. Fifth dimension. Take a quantum leap, collective consciousness, and intense transformation. Fourth week for you of February, Aquarius. So you are going into the fifth dimension. You're taking what you can from both dimensions. You're merging them together within self. You're exploring these new gifts that are uncorking within you in the fourth week. Finally, you have new earth. Hold your vision. It's time to ascend. Change flows through you. Okay, yes, you are meeting yourself into a very early stage of the ascension process. Aquarius, it looks to me like the fourth week you will be on your way to a new earth. In other words, a new you. And you'll be merging with the new earth. So those of us that have began this process you'll be meeting with everyone eye to eye you'll be on the same level with many maybe not everyone because everyone's on a different place in the journey it's like going to high school right everyone's a different class and everyone's majoring something different everyone understands a different part of the curriculum right or they might be getting different grade levels everything makes them different in some way and they might be get be given grades just because they showed up or they might be really working diligently and they're not getting good grades it just depends on who is part of their team, who is giving them lessons, how harsh are their lessons. Okay, well, you have the wishful expectations 14 wheel. Acknowledging the smoke and mirrors in your life and what they are. Okay, yes, it has to do with discernment. 
so yes, again, with your third eye. Um, if you also practice or you have opened up by that time the ability of hearing <clears throat> or feeling, right? Because we have all the clairs, okay? If you're able to hear, you're discerning whether you heard it or not. Where did it come from? Was it your higher self? Was it creator? Was it an angel? What source was sending you some kind of a message, right? Now, I myself get stronger messages um, when it's from source. I get a stronger vibration. And I also get the ringing in both ears because I merged masculine and feminine within. They're both working like a symposium within me, right? So let's find out the 3D stuff. This is the stuff some of you are here for anyway. And I'm sorry this kind of went off task, but some wanted to know. And there you have it. We got that part done. Okay, let's go on to the 3D. Aquarius February, please. And happy birthday again. This is Tinker BT. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share and like. You have a lot of creative energy coming in. Well, actually, no, I just thought I saw that. But you may. I saw that on the cards previous. But your North Node's coming in. And your MC, which is Capricorn, or you have Capricorn energy. You might also want to watch out for addictions. If you've conquered some recently, which you may have, or you're trying to, yeah, the devil is trying to be a little bit present, watching you obsessively, right? Wanting to use you as a gateway to collect your your general energy or to get you off your game, your spiritual game. Okay, let's go on. And yeah, you have, okay, I was feeling sun. So there you have it, the sun. And that's on top of the, for the first week, that's on top of your 10 of cups. Okay. So in the 3D, you have a beautiful first week, your birthday, or maybe you're working up into your birthday because there's a few weeks left in the Aquarius sector here, the month of February. So the first few weeks, right? So I would say you have a creative energy going on. Your sacral is probably lit. You should be taking care of it if you haven't already. So you can bring all this goodness in. Let's find out more. There's creativity ahead. Good times. Love could be love making. I don't know your story if you have anybody, but you do have five of cups going on too. So maybe that part, because I just said it right there, is not open to you right now. If it isn't, it will. You got to get the flow going, get your chakras aligned and be open to it. Be receptive. Okay. Christ for the first week, you have the fool. So for the first week, you will be beginning something. Now with the sun and the ten of cups there, that five of cups might as well not be there at all, right? So just pay attention to the good stuff, okay? That is the good stuff. Because you have something you want to leap right into. Let's see what it has to do with. Oh, communication, short travel, uh, lighter studies. Yeah, um, Gemini energy twice. So two sets of twins. Maybe you're delving into the twin world, the twin flame world. Maybe you have a couple people who you think could be your twin. Let's find out more. Yeah, um, I think you're trying to discern who is your actual twin. Because that is a pretty popular thing that's going on around anymore. People really want to know that. It doesn't, it's done in necessity, really, for you, okay, anybody. You could be a loner for the rest of your days if you want to be. You don't have to have a twin. Now, it's mainly a mission. I would say it's an extracurricular activity if you were going to liken it to school. It's something that does not have to be part of the plan to graduate, okay? It's just something you, you might get for extra credit. You're helping another. And yeah, when you merge with them, you're working as one. And if you and that person can merge together right, I think beautiful things can happen. I can't speak on it personally because I did have a twin. And my twin did not want to work with me. Um, matter of fact, my masculine and feminine come out of order because of that twin. Aquarius, if you're like me, because you're a sword, you might have that happen now and then. Somebody comes in and they challenge you on your boundaries or they pressure you. I'm having strong ringing now. They will get your alignment out of whack. And a feminine energy will have to become a little more masculated, if you will, to protect themselves 
because who's going to protect them if the person they thought was going to protect them, the would-be emperor, is out to get them or isn't really thinking of them, caring about them, right? They have to protect themselves. We aren't Ike and Tina Turner out here. It should not be that way. No, toxicity is not okay. So if you have a twin and they're treating you in a toxic way, it's time to step back and it's time to re-examine. Don't let anyone abuse you that way, okay? Two of coins. Okay, so for the first week after all that rest, you are going to be juggling. Now that could be, as I said, it could be having to do with like possibly two suitors that could be your twins that you're not certain about, but I'm going to leave it there and let you discern that because that's your story and every one of us is different, but you have a wonderful first week coming for you and there may be two either Gemini's or two twins coming your way and good luck figuring out what's what and maybe there'll be more details for you coming in another reading with Tinker BT soon. Okay. Second week, Tinker BT for February. Aquarius's outlook. Okay, you have seven of swords. It come out in reverse. So something that was stolen from you, I think is going to come to light. I think something that you did not know was stolen from you, you will be clear on. You'll understand. Second week. The wheel. Restarting something, um, re revolving around that what was stolen. That might have been an idea. It might have been anything. You know, they could have stolen objects. But where the swords are sharp, mental and clarity, meaning, knowledge and wisdom, I would say that somebody got information out of you. They might have stolen um, your recipe or your notes, your documents. Um, they could have stolen something that you would consider is a um, artifact of some kind that you've held on to, that you've learned from. Something that would have to do with your wisdom or your artistic creative abilities, I would say, could be physical. Okay. We'll find out more, but the wheel, it could have been a car. Okay. It could have been, or a bike, something with the wheel, um, ace of coins. So you're going to be granted. Let's see. We have three. Okay. I gave you five for the 3d. Okay. So you're going to be granted a nice, this, well, I, I just got told, okay, that this is going to have to do with your physical well-being. Might be fighting addictions, but this is your body. Okay. I don't know. I think because I got taken back there with the wheel and how it related to the car that you're dealing with your body. Okay. Um, especially if you have cancer in your chart, but you're going to be good, given a new lease on life with your physical body. Okay, now your birthday month, maybe you're taking better care of yourself, but you're stronger. Your physicality is becoming stronger. Something you're doing is definitely working, okay? So physically, you're, you're getting healthier. Yes, Queen of Wands, you're starting to look very, very appetizing, if you will. You look very nice looking to anyone, anyone. They could be someone that's a complete enemy. They could be, it's unrefutable. They see you. You look so striking. You look so beautiful. You look so handsome, whatever it is. You know, if you're masculine, feminine, you know, you look striking and it can't be ignored. So yes, whatever you're putting in your body, are you doing with a regimen? Because we did have regimens happen here. You could be putting a lot of care into yourself and it is showing up. Eight of coins. Yes. All that work you're putting into yourself, keep it going. Cause the second week of your February month, Okay, Aquarius, you are looking very, very beautiful or handsome and your health is becoming more vital and strong. You're getting stronger. This could be capital gains as well. You're looking good in the position in which you're carrying or you're about to be. You look right for a position, something of stability that forms stability, that brings you the ability to create that nest, that, you know, your, your, your egg, your nesting, your structure. Okay, because... But this is an emotional balance too. You started that out with the first week. And, and I feel this is trickling into the whole month because that started you out on the journey that you're on. So this is whomever's listening. It's for different sectors of your life. But whatever is most pronounced for you now, if it's stability in your body or stability out there in the work world, whichever way it fits you, you're looking at your second week being much more stronger and beautiful in that sector. Okay, third week, please. 
for Aquarius. February. You have the Queen of Coins. Okay. Well, you're definitely, uh, if you're wanting to be pregnant, you're wanting to be ripe with child, you're getting there because that is a very uh, pre empress kind of energy right there. You may be working on that. Um, week three, or you could be a man who wants to have his lady do this for him and you're working together. Whatever the case might be, everyone's different. That could be in store, but this could be a creative project. This could be your business. But again, your body, where the Queen of Wands was the last, the last one for pile for pile. Excuse me for month week two week two. Okay, I just did the whole year, so I'm kind of confused there. Week two, you were Queen of Wands. Now you're in your, you know, you're earthing, you're grounding, you're you're creating, you're establishing, you're investing in self, body, or business, right? You're looking radiant too, might I add. Okay. Nine of coins. Yes. And it keeps on going. Nine of coins is another minor because it's, it's minor. It's not a, uh, it's a pip. I remember it is not a court card. So it's a very lower um, attribute to the Empress and the Queen of Coins. So yes, you are working it. So whether this is working the third week, you're going to be blessed with much, much gain. Okay. Now again, it could be in your beauty sector. Okay. Yeah. And there's going to be secrets along the way as you are in this establishing mode. Now, if you're trying to become pregnant or you're a man wanting your lady to become pregnant, well, Right now, it is not certain. You're in kind of that murky moment where you have to wait to find out if the egg has met its match, if you will, okay, when the germination process is to take hold. And so you're waiting and or this person's new to you and you don't know yet if you're going to be able to establish that kind of relationship. Five of Swords. Wow. Okay. There might be some drama around this as well. Um, not so much as drama as maybe some, just some challenges that you will see that will feel sharp and cutting. They won't be, um, the energy that you've been experiencing, it might be something that kind of gets in there and deters it a little bit. It will definitely be noticed. Okay. A nine of swords, yeah, um, rest might not be pronounced. Uh, rest is needed for whether it's beauty business or making a child creative endeavors, yeah. Something is going on with that. Let's find out with the dice, what we can learn more about those two last cards for the week three. Okay, yes, if it's just about motherhood, there are sleepless nights because you or whichever party is listening, if you're the masculine, you're not sure about your lady and would be mother of your child, their health, maybe right now they're going through something with the pregnancy or the pregnancy is not launching or there's something in rest related. Now, if you are the lady listening who would like to be pregnant or you are pregnant, there could be sleepless nights involved. And we have cancer on the dice that could be your mother is causing you restless nights. Maybe your mother is just worried and on the phone, just too much texting and hovering. Um, a Sagittarius energy, uh, yeah, expanding expanding whatever it is that's causing the sleepless night. So exasperating it. Um, now, if it's not somebody wanting a baby, it's about your creation. You're consumed with your creation growing. You're worried and somebody come in and created some kind of a schism in there and you're giving it a little too much power. You need to let it go. You need to relax, have some chamomile tea, listen to some frequency music, get yourself a good gemstone uh, rose quartz is a good one to carry around. Uh, amethyst, believe it or not, our own gemstone will help with rest and addiction. So if that is trying to make its way in, you can definitely deter that problem with those gemstones. Let's move on to week four. Week four, you have the six of wands. You will be very proud. Now, what do we have for the anchor for that month or week? Yeah, the King of Wands. You would be very proud. It's a wand card, so it's more energy for the fourth week. So spiritually, we spoke on this week about your ascension process, taking off enlightenment, and so on. But also your authoritative self, 
your authority within self. I don't feel it's outside of self. I feel this is about within self, okay? Those coming at you. Well, oops. I'm sorry. I have somebody trying to get into their, <laughs> into their stash of <laughs> kitty. Okay, so yeah, you might have to speak up because somebody might cross boundaries. That just... He's showing me that that's something I need to speak on. Okay, so now if that does happen, Aquarius, you're going to be put to the challenge. And then that's going to be a proud moment when you are seen for the victory that you have now just crossed into. So yeah, you're you're entering into a time where your authority is going to be challenged. And it's going to be seen that you can step up and you are strong and that you can accept that challenge. And you come out with flying colors. Others will see it. There will be victory for you, okay? This is the fourth week for February, Aquarius, Knight of Cups. Okay, and somebody may come in showing you a show of emotion, a love, some kind of a show of compassion, maybe. Yeah. Now they could be cavalier. It could it could feel like a fly by night. So don't take it seriously. This is a young, immature energy. Okay, it could be a child. I mean, if you teach or have children in your family, no children in your neighborhood, it could be somebody sweet, young, just picking flowers and sending them your way, whatever. But if it's somebody older acting like a suitor, you should know that they're not mature enough to handle you. No, not if you're a knight of wands. And I don't think that it's a good idea that you should even. It's your life. Okay, it's your life. And the King of Swords, yes, you will see clarity in this. You will feel a sharp clarity in this. You will speak truth. So if they are coming at you and they're too young for you, you will let them know, you know, sorry, we're not matched. You know, we're unmatched and then they'll be on their way. But that is if it's that case, that scenario for you that they'd like to show love and wish to mate up with you or something. And there is not a balance there due to age or maturity levels. Okay. And finally, Eight of Wands, you're going to have ample messages coming in at the tail end of February, the last week of February. There will be lots of messages coming your way. And to balance out the entire month, this is going to be any time in February, okay? We're going to get you a few cards for any time in February. These are not denoted by the times unless I find that I can read that accordingly, okay? Aquarius, you have Five of Wands coming out in reverse, so... Any kind of challenges and changes, drama that you feel coming up at you in that month, you will, you will definitely stand against it. You will turn it around. And then you're going to put to an end to something. Now, the end to the drama, the challenges that are uncomfortable to those that would come in and cause you, um, to get deetered off of any kind of path, you might have to put an end to the astral projections of another who might be trying to usurp your energy in some way. Um, addictions, bad habits, lack of rest, lack of care, routines that are not good, you will be putting an end to sometime in the month of February. Finally, Page of Wands. So... Yeah, that could be you, but it could be also you shutting down somebody coming your way who is after a short good time, right? Not a longevity good time, right? So if you're a feminine or a masculine, it does not matter, and somebody wants to have a good time with you, you're taking things serious now, and this isn't something you want to deal with. Yeah, we have uh, Mercury energy. So this would be a trickster coming in with fiery attitude, younger than you probably. And they could be Gemini or Virgo and Mercury is definitely in play. And an entire month, and I think we're going to go into a retrograde, the entire month of February is going to be a little bit about conversation for you. And it might be off and on like spurts. We had the rain starting out. Now it's not going. So It'll be an off and on kind of thing. Now, before we started, I had creative, creative power come out for you. I pulled this pre-video. It's 12, your 12th house, which is where your secret enemies are. Watch out for them in your astral projecting time. 
Um, because if you are trying to get ripe with, with say a pregnancy, say you're a feminine or a masculine wanting a baby to come into the world, um, that could date this and sleep is very important and sleep will affect an unborn child. So be aware of that. Um, if it's a project, a business, something you care about that you're putting together, they could also ruin and try to steal from you. We did have seven of swords come up. The truth will come out. You will see it for what it is. Maybe you need to get really sharp with those abilities that we've seen that are coming in for you and also get strong with those guides that are with you, the winged ones, if you will, the angelic forces. Okay. Release your alchemical energy into the world. Now this is the beginning card that we started with, but I didn't show you until now. And you're about to, during some time in February, it could be any time because this is the flavor of the whole month. You're about to become that known force that is going to be creating your body is going to release something, whether it is through your passion or an actual water break of a baby. Any way you want to look at this, because everybody is different, something is going to be ready to deliver sometime in February. When that delivery is met, when it's made, right? The revealing will happen. You will have secret enemies trying to deer this, okay? Because they don't want it to happen. So guard what it is that you crave and you love. If it's your child or would-be child, your body for making child or business endeavors, your home, any of these things, guard it, okay? And work with the spirit realm to keep such protections in focus for you. I hope you enjoyed. This is February for Aquarius, The Outlook. You've been listening to Tinker BT, and I so appreciate you being here. Take good care. And like, share, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you, and I am so honored you've spent some time with me. Thanks so much. Bye for now.